ever feel like you're in an endless cycle of giving without receiving? It's time to change that. Today, we're exploring the path of breaking free from a narcissistic partner's control. Get ready to reclaim your life and self-worth. Number 1. Understanding the Narcissistic Supply Chain Alright, let's start by dissecting the concept of the narcissistic supply chain. In a nutshell, it's the dynamic where a narcissistic individual, in this case your wife, seeks constant validation, admiration, and attention to fuel their insatiable ego. You might find yourself constantly tending to her needs, whether it's showering her with compliments, always being available at her beck and call, or even suppressing your own needs and desires just to keep her satisfied. It's like being on a never-ending treadmill, where no matter how much you give, it's never quite enough. Understanding this cycle is crucial, as it forms the backbone of the dynamic you're trying to break free from. Number 2. Recognizing the signs Spotting the signs of narcissism can be like deciphering a complex puzzle. It's not always as obvious as one might think. Look for patterns of behavior, an insatiable need for attention, a lack of empathy, a sense of entitlement. Does your wife often turn conversations back to herself, making everything about her? Is she dismissive of your feelings or needs? These are all potential indicators. It's important to remember that while these signs can be hard to accept, recognizing them is the first step towards regaining control of your own emotional well-being. Number 3. The Impact on You Living in a relationship with a narcissistic partner can take a toll on your mental and emotional health. It's like constantly walking on eggshells, never knowing what might trigger an outburst or a demand for validation. You might find yourself feeling drained, anxious, or even questioning your own worth. Your needs and desires might take a back seat, leaving you feeling invisible. It's crucial to acknowledge the impact this dynamic has on you. Your feelings are valid, and understanding how this relationship affects you is a crucial part of the process of breaking free. Remember, you deserve to be in a relationship where your own well-being is valued just as much as your partner's. Number 4. The Impact on You Living in a relationship where you serve as the primary source of validation for a narcissistic spouse can take a significant toll on your mental and emotional well-being. It's like carrying an invisible weight that grows heavier with each passing day. You may find yourself constantly questioning your worth, your decisions, and even your own perception of reality. This constant need for validation from your wife can erode your self-esteem and leave you feeling drained and depleted. You might start to doubt your own needs and desires, prioritizing hers above your own. It's important to acknowledge the emotional strain this dynamic places on you, and to recognize that you deserve to feel valued and appreciated in a healthy relationship. Number 5. Setting Boundaries Creating and enforcing boundaries is a crucial step in breaking free from the narcissistic supply chain. It's about reclaiming your sense of self and establishing a clear line between what is acceptable and what is not. This can be a challenging process, as your wife may resist these changes, pushing against the boundaries you set. However, remember that boundaries are not about being confrontational or unloving. They're about prioritizing your own well-being. Start by identifying your own needs and limits and communicating them calmly and assertively. It's important to remain consistent and firm in upholding these boundaries, even when met with resistance. Over time, this practice will help you regain a sense of control and autonomy in the relationship, allowing you to protect your emotional health. Number 6. Reclaiming Your Identity Being in a relationship with a narcissistic partner can sometimes feel like you're living in their shadow, with your own identity slowly fading into the background. It's essential to take deliberate steps toward rediscovering who you are as an individual. Begin by reconnecting with your passions, interests, and the things that bring you joy outside of the relationship. This could involve revisiting hobbies or activities you once loved or even exploring new ones that pique your interest. Additionally, seek out opportunities for personal growth and self-improvement. This might include setting and pursuing goals that are solely focused on your own development. Re-establishing your sense of self is not only beneficial for your own well-being, but it can also lead to healthier and more balanced dynamics within the relationship. It's a journey towards finding your own voice and regaining a sense of agency in your own life. Number 7. Seeking Professional Support Navigating a relationship with a narcissistic partner can be an incredibly complex and emotionally draining experience. That's why seeking professional support can be a game changer. A qualified therapist or a counselor can provide you with a safe space to express your feelings and concerns without judgment. They bring a fresh perspective and specialized techniques to help you understand and cope with the challenges you're facing. Additionally, they can guide you in developing effective communication strategies tailored to your unique situation. Seeking help is a courageous step toward reclaiming your well-being. Number 8. Effective Communication Strategies Communicating with a narcissistic partner can feel like navigating a minefield. 
but it's a crucial skill for breaking free from the narcissistic supply chain. Start by using I statements to express your feelings and needs. For example, say, I feel hurt when, rather than placing the blame with, you always. This approach helps to avoid defensiveness and encourages a more constructive conversation. It's also important to set clear boundaries and to stick to them. Let your partner know what behavior is unacceptable and what consequences may follow if those boundaries are crossed. And remember, choose your battles wisely. Focus on addressing the most significant issues rather than getting bogged down in every minor disagreement. This can help you maintain your own emotional well-being while still asserting your needs. Number 9. Coping Mechanisms Dealing with a narcissistic partner can take a toll on your mental and emotional well-being. That's why it's crucial to have a toolkit of healthy coping mechanisms at your disposal. First and foremost, practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself and acknowledge that you're navigating a challenging situation. Engage in activities that bring you joy and a sense of fulfillment, whether it's a hobby, exercise, or spending time with loved ones. Mindfulness techniques like meditation or deep breathing exercises can also provide a moment of calm within the chaos. Number 10. Detaching Emotionally Detaching emotionally from a narcissistic partner is a pivotal step in reclaiming your own sense of self and well-being. It's about creating a healthy distance without harboring resentment. Begin by focusing on your own needs and interests separate from the demands of the relationship. Engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment and don't hesitate to spend time with supportive friends and family. Keep in mind that emotional detachment doesn't mean shutting down or becoming callous. It's a conscious effort to protect your own emotional health. Additionally, practice setting emotional boundaries. Communicate your feelings and needs clearly without allowing guilt or manipulation to sway you. Recognize that you have the right to your own emotional experiences and that it's perfectly acceptable to step back when you need to recharge. Embrace self-compassion, acknowledging that your emotions are valid and deserving of respect. This process may take time, so be patient with yourself and trust that you're making strides towards a healthier emotional space. Number 11. Re-evaluating the relationship As you embark on this journey of self-discovery and emotional detachment, it's crucial to assess the viability of the relationship itself. Ask yourself candidly whether the dynamic with your narcissistic wife is sustainable in the long run. Consider the impact on your overall well-being and weigh it against any potential benefits or positive changes. Reflect on whether there's a genuine effort from both parties to evolve and grow together. Keep in mind that a relationship should be a source of mutual support, respect, and shared growth. If it consistently falls short of these benchmarks, it might be time to consider alternative paths such as couples therapy, or in more severe cases, separation or divorce. Prioritizing your own mental and emotional health is not only valid, but essential for your overall happiness and fulfillment. Number 12. Empowering yourself Empowerment is a beacon of light in the process of breaking free from the narcissistic supply chain. It's about recognizing your own worth, strengths and potential, independent of the validation or approval from your partner. Start by acknowledging your accomplishments, no matter how small they may seem. Celebrate your victories and be kind to yourself in moments of self-doubt. Remember, you are capable, resilient and deserving of a fulfilling life. Furthermore, surround yourself with a support system that uplifts and encourages you. Seek out friends, family or support groups who understand your journey and provide a safe space for you to express your thoughts and emotions. Their validation and encouragement can serve as a powerful counterbalance to the negativity you may have experienced in the relationship. Number 13. Seeking Legal Advice In some cases, when dealing with a narcissistic spouse, seeking legal advice becomes a crucial step towards safeguarding your rights and ensuring a fair resolution. It's important to consult with a qualified attorney who specializes in family law. They can provide you with invaluable guidance on matters such as divorce, custody arrangements, and financial considerations. Remember, legal professionals are equipped to navigate the complexities of the legal system, ensuring that your interests are represented effectively. This step empowers you with the knowledge and support needed to make informed decisions about your future. Number 14. Moving forward with purpose Congratulations on making it this far. As you embark on this new chapter, it's important to do so with intention and purpose. Take the time to reflect on your values, passions and personal goals. What do you want to achieve in this next phase of your life? Set clear, realistic objectives for yourself and develop a roadmap to reach them. Surround yourself with a supportive network of friends and family who uplift and encourage you. You have the power to shape your own destiny. By moving forward with purpose, you're not just surviving, you're thriving. Breaking free from the narcissistic supply chain is a courageous journey of self-discovery and empowerment.
But the journey doesn't end here. Discover ways a narcissistic wife treats her husband or find out what happens after the narcissistic wife loses control. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe to the channel and continue this important exploration with your next video choice.